Hey what's up guys, OSG and I'm ploughing on with the A to Z of C64 Hidden Gems and today it's time to look at games beginning with C. Again there's a good mix of games here and one of the games is actually one of my favourite C64 shooter maps. So let's take a look at Commodore 64 Hidden Gems in order of greatness beginning with C. In 10th place we have Collapse. At first glance this looks like a straightforward action puzzler but it's much more in depth than that. The aim is not to complete the squares as it is in most games of this type but actually to clear the platforms or dominoes as they are called in this game. It's definitely one that requires a bit more thought than some puzzle games. Chimera is in 9th position. This is a super hard isometric game from Firebird. It has though some of the fastest isometric action on the C64 and once you figure out what to do it's a great game. It also has the added treat of a Hubbard intro tune and some really creepy voice sounds which on first play may scare you. Eighth place is taken by Chicken Chase. This is maybe the most basic game on the list as it's single screen, but, and it's a big but, the gameplay is so much fun and the graphics and presentation are great, which if nothing else will provide you with some quick fun action. Is it a game that you will play for hours? No. Is it a game that you will fire up from time to time and enjoy? Definitely. In 7th place is Castlevania. Yeah this is a really well known game on the NES but I never even knew it was out for the C64. Anyway this game gets a lot of negative reviews but I like it. Whilst it's nowhere near as good as the NES classic it's still a good platform game and for kids who didn't have an NES this would have been awesome and certainly better than some of the platform games we got on the C64. Captain Fizz meets the Blastertrons takes 6th position. This is a top down gauntlet type action shoot em up. I'm not a massive fan of gauntlet to be honest but I can see that this is a good game. It actually reminds me more of Alien Breed on the Amiga than anything else and it's much more enjoyable to play in 2 player and the David Whittaker soundtrack really adds to this game too. Fifth place is taken by Cyberworld. This is a game that was also known as Paranoia Complex and it is a really overlooked gem. Again, this is a top down maze shooter but although there was little to no love for this back in the day, it's a great little game.
In 4th place is Casta. This Tetris type game is one of the best on the C64. You don't have the benefit of rotating, but that only makes it more challenging, as you have to think a few moves ahead each time. Mix that with a really nice Sid soundtrack and you've got a game that you can lose yourself in. Circus Attractions is in third position. This is a multi-event game where you take part in loads of different circus activities. First thing that hits you is the quality of the graphics. Then mix that with some hard but manageable gameplay and a soundtrack from Hulsbeck and you've got one true gem of a game that was sadly overlooked in favour of the Epix multi-event games. Second place is taken by Cool Croc Twins. How this game passed me by is a mystery. It's a proper good one or two player game and is a unique spin on the single screen action puzzler. The graphics are great and the music is awesome as it reminds me of the supercars music from the Amiga. And now, in first place, is Catalypse. This is not only my favourite gem beginning with C, but it's also on my list of favourite shoot 'em ups on the C64. Yeah, it's plain to see that it's heavily influenced from Armalite, but it's much more than just a clone. This game offers up some great weapon upgrades, and brilliant music which is something I always thought was missing from Armalite. Anyway, clone like aside, this is an excellent game in its own right. Ok that's it for this video, hope you have found some new games to play in this lot. Let me know in the comments below if you played any hidden gems beginning with C, and if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Till next time this is OSG, signing out.